This is an update video on my MELD software for multicolor flashlights. Uh, there have been a number of features and modes added in the latest version since my last video, so I, I'm going to do a complete overview of the whole user interface. And I'm demoing in two lights. Uh, one of them is a Black Shadow Queen and one of them is an Olight S10. The Olight actually has my driver the MELD2 driver in it which includes uh, buck boost and sepic converters and the Black Shadow is running the exact same software but with just linear regulators. All of, uh, both of them have a white LED in the center surrounded by red, green, blue and ultraviolet. So with my user interface in any mode the light can be used in a momentary or latched on mode so a short click less than a third of a second latches on and a long click goes to momentary mode and this works from from any of the various modes whatever the light was last used in that's what it'll come back on in whether you use it momentary or latching on and then from off there's one shortcut available and that's to maximum so if I double click from off I latch on in max and if I click press from off, I'm using maximum momentarily. And if I release, I go back to off and my previous mode is remembered. So there are four main mode groups, the white, the primary one, strobes, ultraviolet, and the color modes. White has continuous ramping up and down. And in all cases, Ramping is used in all, in all of these mode groups, and in all cases, ramping will be reverse direction if the light was used for less than three seconds in the previous uh, level. So if I leave this on a level for more than three seconds, I'm going to continue my ramp up, but if I do it quickly, I, I go back down. And that becomes more useful in the color modes when you're searching around for something. So in white, I have ramping. I also have shortcut to maximum by click press and from there I have another shortcut to minimum by repeated click press. A double click goes to my primary level which is configurable and then a minimum because I have the dim to red option enabled is actually replaced by dim red and that's configurable in the menu whether or not it does that. From any mode a double click goes to primary, a triple click goes to strobe mode and strobe is rampable from a quarter hertz to 60 hertz continuously and it follows the same rules on reversing the direction of ramping. Double click goes back to my primary and a double click from primary goes to ultraviolet and ultraviolet doesn't have ramping there's no brightness adjustment uh, allowed it by the hardware however uh, holding it down just makes the ultraviolet strobe which I think in some cases would help to point out objects that are fluorescing. And then the last the last mode group is the colors which is accessed by click click press and any of these any of these are available by those shortcuts from any other place so from color I can double click to go to primary, triple click to go to strobe and so on. So from color Color is a continuous circle of modes and ramping works the same way. I can reverse direction and the, the modes will wrap around in a circle. The, this part of the, the mode spectrum is a continuous range of colors that you can adjust through from green through yellow, red, violet, blue, turquoise, and then back to green. And you can stop on any color and leave it there. And just like in the white modes or the strobes, any color mode used, uh, the light remembers when you turn it back on, and you can use momentary or latching to go back to it. And even in a color mode, the shortcut to maximum from off works. And then if I do that momentarily, I go back to colors. So here I'm in the continuous color spectrum, and if I continue from there, I'll get to the other, the other modes. This one is a lightning simulator, which calculates uh, randomized 
lightning strikes with at randomized intervals. That's a mix of white and blue. The next one is a mode I call Lava Lamp, which uh, runs an algorithm that randomizes a mix of the red, green, and blue at randomized rates. Uh, it's a it's a really neat looking sort of uh, background light. Uh, next one is All Low, which the camera won't show it very well, but you can observe all the LEDs directly. They're turned on at their minimum levels. That's except for the ultraviolet. I'll include a picture of what that looks like in the blog post. Next is a fire simulator. On the black shadow it doesn't look great because this is a smooth reflector which doesn't mix colors very well, but if I bounce it off of something so that they mix, you can see it. Uh, it's an effect that mimics a flickering candle. Next one is uh, police lights, which is an alternating strobe of blue and white. Next there are three uh, beacons, red, green, and blue. Th those are just simple um, half hertz beacons. Uh, next one is uh, a safety flasher for uh, biking or maybe a roadside emergency using the red. And then there's a second option of the safety flasher, a simple triple blank. Next one is a continuous fade through colors, uh, which will just re basically runs these this spectrum of colors in a continuous circle. And then the last one here is Stunner, which is the randomized strobe using all colors, which is uh, sort of modeled after the, the DARPA puke light that, was, that went around a few years ago on the internet. And there's one more mode in here that uh, is not accessible right now, and that's low red. And the reason that's not accessible is because I have the dim to red option available. So I figure if you have that option on, you probably don't need low red because you can get to low red by just going to minimum. If I turn the low red option off, then that will show up. Uh, two other things that don't fall into this, the, this structure are the battery test, which is a triple click followed by press, and the light will measure the battery voltage and, and relay it out to you in blinks. So if I do that, one, two, three, four, point one. This is telling me the batteries are at 4.1 volts and that only stays on for as long as I hold the button and then it'll go back to whatever I was doing. And then quadruple click goes to the configuration menu and I won't go into all the options right now but uh, this, this gives a lot of um, configurability for the way the light acts and it includes also some one-time access uh, features. Um, I'll do an example. So beacon, I'll go to the next one, tactical, I'll go to the next one, lockout. So this is showing a, a pattern to indicate which I option I'm on, and if I hold down on lockout until I go green, meaning I've activated it, now the light is locked out, and the lockout feature just requires you to triple click it to turn it on. And it's gone back to the last used mode. Thanks for watching.